Happy Pools Nest Pool Queen of Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poos Tribe. So this is a Mercury retrograde love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love. Let's find out what's going on with your love life during this Mercury retrograde. Keep in mind these are general messages that may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is. And or you can just check out your moon rising and your Venus sign. Whichever one fits for you. Ooh, okay. These cars is acting up. What is wrong with y'all? Somebody might be all over the place. So we got you guys' energy with wisdom. We got fulfillment of wishes, which is the nine of cups. We have the six of cups, memories of love. We have the ace of pentacles with prosperity begins. Uh, spiritual strength. We have passion, ignited, emotional, withdrawal, and authority. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Aries as well. Okay. So, I feel soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. And I feel like somebody is looking at this connection or this relationship in a whole different perspective now. Somebody is definitely passionate about you, but I feel like this person that you connecting with is was meant to come in your life to build you up spiritually as well. Now, I do feel like energy is pulled back and i feel like it's out of fear because of how much a person is um passionate about you but i also see it's just a front it's like a person is trying to um take more control of their feelings but deep down inside they still like passionate about you they might not be showing it dealing with Aquarius as well I feel like <laughs> y'all feeling y'all so I feel like you guys could be feeling good right now it could be you or this person who's trying to put on this front yeah with the Emperor the Emperor again Knight of Cups. So a person wants, deep down inside, I feel like this person want to bring some type of love offer to you. And they're just not really <laughs> showing it. I feel like they put more of a brave face on. Like, nah, I don't, I don't need Taurus. Like, I'm cool. But they want this brand new beginning with you. Some of you guys, they want to go ahead and you know, do what the do is. So they want to come towards you. But I don't feel like they opening up completely. What? Okay. So we have the three of swords, eight of swords, four of swords. There's hurt here. You could have hurt this person feelings. And now this person is just like stuck. You could maybe not even be in communication with this person. Okay. Page of Pentacles. I feel like if you if y'all are communication, are in communication and the conversation is like poor. It's only a little communication here and there. A justice, but somebody wants to balance this out, and I don't feel like uh there's any balance because somebody is stuck yeah they want to communicate and come towards you with the eight of wands so like i said if y'all communicating i feel like the conversation is like poor 
very poor. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Okay. But this person feel like something is a burden. Or you feel like something is a burden that, that needs to be released. But I feel like deep down inside, this person is going to end up making some type of decision with the two of wands and the reverse. Yeah, making some type of decision to come towards you with the lovers, two of cups, and the judgment card. Okay. I know that's right. Queen of swords. Somebody got cut out. Somebody got cut off for a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, what did I say? Somebody got cut off, left out in the cold because somebody walked away to focus more on themselves, to make themselves more happy. And really what that did was bring sadness and regret because the tower moment happened. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well with this uh, Temperance card and this Knight of Wands. Some of you guys were dealing with a player. Some of y'all was really dealing with a player. Like the person that was in and out. Had multiple options. This could be y'all. Had multiple options. And maybe your person just found out. And they pulled their energy back. They thought that this was going to go somewhere. And they made a decision. And was like no. Could be vice versa. Take it resonate. So we got flirt, honeymoon, getting to know each other. So this is somebody who wants to start over from what I see. They do want to start over. Somebody want to start over. Forgiving and learning, yeah. Somebody needs to forgive what happened in the past. If somebody said something wrong, if somebody did something wrong, we got worth waiting for wait worth waiting for past life relationship, new love, and wedding. This might be y'all person. I'm just saying y'all better think small. Think small. Cause somebody want balance and somebody's like, hmm, I'm standing, I'm putting my foot down. To Taurus, give me what I want. Just saying. What message do we have for Taurus on when it comes to love during this Mercury retrograde? We have super moon. Um, emotions are running high at the bottom of the deck. Then we got north node. Step out of your comfort zone. So it could be you who's trying, who's being like stubborn or like closing this person out. It could be because um, you're not over uh, some type of communication or some type of cutoff that went on. Or it could be you just, you know, kind of like scared of the past to, of repeating itself. Which I don't blame you, but... You can't really get to know somebody if you don't open up, right? I'm just saying. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. If you want to join my Patreon, you can definitely join my Patreon. And you can go over and follow my Instagram. That's in the description box as well. I do do the um, $10 love reading live chat. If you want to catch that, I do that probably like three three times out the week. So if you wanted to catch that, then, you know, come check us out with the poo-poo strap. Other than that, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.